There's nothing better on a cold winter's night than sitting down with a big piping hot bowl of soup. So this is my Tuscan vegetable bacon soup and it goes something like this. We're gonna kick off the recipe with what I think is the base flavor for a soup. So I've got lots of garlic, I've got a chili, and I'm using some fresh thyme as well. For me, starting a soup is where you wanna get the flavor in the beginning. So I'm just gonna chop up our garlic and our chili and our thyme. That's looking nice. Just gonna pop this in a little bowl. You wanna kick off with a really heavy base saucepan for this recipe. I'm gonna pop in some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, and then I'm gonna go in with a diced onion. It's the start of any good recipe, is cooking off an onion in oil. Just gonna give the onion maybe two minutes head start, just to start it softening down and getting really nice and savory and aromatic. Next to go in the pot, I've got some diced celery. It's a couple of stalks and I've also got some diced carrot. So a lot of people don't think about vegetables as being really sweet, but giving them a couple of minutes frying off in this oil is really gonna bring out their sweetness and add a lovely flavor into the base of our soup. Our next ingredient to go in is some diced bacon. So I'm popping half the bacon into the soup now. So half's gonna go in and the other half I'm gonna keep for the top. We're gonna crisp this up later on and it gives a lovely texture to the top of the soup. So I'm just gonna pop that aside I'm just gonna cook out the bacon for another couple of minutes. This is a really important step in the soup. Take the 10 minutes now to kind of fry off everything, get everything smelling really good. You can just dump everything in a pot and boil it. It's not gonna taste any good. A little flavor bomb can now go in, our garlic, chili, and thyme. Just make a little space in the center of the pan so this gets down onto the direct heat. Just pop it in. And again, we're gonna fry this off for a couple of minutes. You get the theme of this recipe. So whenever you buy a block of Parmesan, it always comes with a rind that you can't eat, but the rind is full of flavor. So my little trick is whenever you finish your block of Parmesan, just wrap it up and pop it in the freezer until you're ready to make a stock. And then this is going to go into our soup with some water and some stock. I've got some store-bought stock, but you could make your own. And as this cooks, all of the flavor and umami and saltiness is going to come out of this rind and give our soup an absolute punch of flavor. So by cooking off everything and then adding in our stock, what's gonna happen is all of that caramelization and brown sticky goodness that's on the bottom of the pan is gonna lift off with the stock. I've also got two cups of water and our Parmesan rind's gonna go in. All I'm gonna do is let this simmer away, soften down, and get all of that flavor out of that Parmesan rind. Pretty simple so far, hey? All we need to do is to bring this up to a boil, pop a lid on it, and give that around 10 minutes just to simmer away for all of those flavors to become friends in the pot. While that's happening, we can prepare our other vegetables. So we've got some Mediterranean veg, of course. I've got some Tuscan kale, some beautiful sweet red capsicums, and a big chunk of pumpkin. So the reason we've left these vegetables to now is because these are gonna cook a lot quicker than our kind of harder vegetables, our carrots and our celery. So really simply, you just wanna dice up our capsicums. And I find just chopping around the core. All right, with our pumpkin, I'm simply gonna slice off skin. You can leave the skin on if you want. Definitely don't waste these. You can even pop these on a tray with some salt and some oil, and they go like pumpkin skin chips. They're really nice to have as a little snack while your soup's cooking. Just dice up the pumpkin, relatively small. We want texture in the soup, but we really want lovely tender pieces of sweet pumpkin in there as well. Some more greens, I've got a couple of zucchinis. These are great for soups, they're like sponges, they take up all the flavor. Simply gonna split them into quarters. Just nip off the ends. And then just cut them into a dice, same size as our capsicum and pumpkin. Let's look under our lid. Look at that, you can smell the garlic, you can smell the bacon, you can smell the onion, absolutely delicious. Our bowl of glorious vegetables can now go in. So just pop them in 
And these are gonna take anywhere from around 12 to 15 minutes. You just wanna get them nice and tender. So cook them down, keep an eye on them. Our remaining bacon has been sitting here patiently waiting. A little dash of oil, so we wanna get the bacon really crispy. So we've got lots of textures in this soup, lots of veggies, lots of goodness. And this little crispy crumb of bacon on the top is what makes this super special. This will need a couple of minutes. We want to get it nice and crisp and crunchy. The bacon is looking crispy. This is how we want it. I'm just going to drain this onto some paper to catch any extra fat. With the kale, you've got a stalk and we've got the softer leaf. So what I like to do is just strip it down. I like to leave it quite chunky. So run it through. This needs maybe a minute in that residual heat of the soup. We're gonna keep that gorgeous, vibrant green color of the kale. So it just needs the smallest amount of time in our hot soup. And you'll see straight away, it basically goes from that kind of waxy color to a gorgeous, bright, bright green. And that's what we want. Texture, flavor, and lots and lots of goodness. So I like to season towards the end. It means you can control how kind of salty it gets. And whenever you're using stock and you're going to reduce it, it's going to become saltier. So I always season at the end. Pinch of salt, a good crack of pepper for a bit of background heat. We are good to go. All right, this is when everybody at home is gonna be smelling this, gathering around the table and waiting to eat. Few final flurries. So let's mix in our pepper. Pop this in a bowl. I mean, I normally just put the whole pot in the middle of the table and let everybody serve themselves. All right, gorgeous. Colors, flavors, Parmesan rind. You can remove that and take it out of the soup. The crispy bacon, I leave this separate. Anyone that's from a big family like me, I'm one of six kids. So you've got to make sure the crispy bacon is kind of portioned out evenly. Otherwise, my brothers would have eaten it all. Finish with some parmesan. It is an Italian soup after all. Just grate some of that over. I like to also add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Crack of pepper. That is an absolute delight to sit down and enjoy on a chilly winter's night. For me, Ugg boots on, a couple of bowls of this. I am one very, very happy lady. Mm.